And we're back once again. Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Our next guests are with the Fred Finch Youth Center. The FFYC is uh, one of the oldest and largest nonprofits that provides a lot of support to children that have been abused, neglected, and abandoned, especially the foster kids. And they are getting uh, much needed help right here in the Bay Area and down in Southern California as well. Their battle cry pretty easy. No one should be neglected or forgotten. And here to chat with us today is their CEO, Kathy Jacobson, and the development director, uh, Leah Jones. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we talked about Fred Finch. Uh, give us a little bit of history, and it's been around since the turn of the century, yes, 1890s, so, right? Yes, the center was founded in 1891, um, and it was um, a result of a, a fellow Captain Duncan Finch who, um, after losing his son to tuberculosis, saw all the street kids in Oakland and decided to give the land that was to have been his summer home um, to be used in perpetuity to help young people who were really disenfranchised, who were poor and who needed a place to live and to grow up. So you're offering support to some kids that have hit some hard times, especially yes. foster kids, I guess Especially you foster kids. The majority of our work is with foster kids, um, kids who have experienced trauma or been exposed to domestic violence, kids who have had very, very difficult lives. Um, for one reason or another, many of them have um, uh, mental health challenges, often secondary to the maltreatment they've received. And Leah, how do, you, how do these kids find you, or how do you find the kids? Well, our youth can find us through our website, but an even better portal is through the social service agencies that we work with. They can uh, contact them, and we usually get back to them within 24 to 48 hours. And, and are we all ages? Are we talking young, young to teenagers? We, we, work, we work with all ages. We work um, with kids as young as, as four um, and then up through age 24. The majority of our work is with teenagers, with kids from 11 to 24. Mm -hmm. um, but we work with kids in their homes. Our emphasis is on keeping kids connected to family and to um, supportive adults. Um, and then we also, for the young adults um, who are exiting foster care, we have um, programs that help kids who have become homeless um, after leaving the system um, and help them get back on their feet, get them housed, get them um, enrolled in education and job programs and uh, able to take care of themselves in a better way. Okay, we got to give Fred a little cred here. So we've got a, a nice <laughs> historic picture of uh, Mr. Yeah. Fred Finch, uh, the turn of the century, as you mentioned, uh, a sea captain that uh, wanted to give back. And, and yeah. there he is, uh, for circa, I'm not sure, but we'll uh, say turn of the century. And, and actually, this picture is of Lee Duncan, who was uh, Rin Tin Tin's trainer. And he was our probably our most famous orphan ever. I'll be darned. Well, <laughs> yeah. let's, let's talk about the kids. Yes, give yes. us some success stories, because mm -hmm. you've had... Uh, had a lot of, uh, how many kids go to there each day? So we, we probably are in touch with about 400 kids on a daily basis. Wow. Um, we work in public schools, again, we work in the communities, and we and some of the kids do live with us on the campus. Yeah. Uh, can you give us a story of someone that might have come in that uh, had some issues, um, yeah. obviously no names, mm -hmm. but just uh, how yeah. they grew uh, through yeah. the services you've provided and what they're doing now? Yeah. You know, there's one young man that um, really struck me in the last year, and he was a young man who um, came to us through our homeless youth program in Berkeley. Um, he was homeless after um, dropping out of UC Berkeley to take care of his mother who was dying. Um, he had been homeless all the way through high school, and somehow even that, living with his mother on the streets, managed to do well enough to get into UC Berkeley. Um, and then when she w succumbed to illness and died, he um, lost track of himself yeah. and became homeless again. He came back into our program and um, worked really hard to get his feet back on the ground, um, has a lot of, of uh, financial issues as a result of dropping out and needing to pay back some government loans, um, and began the work of doing that and also began taking classes in community college simultaneously to get his general ed requirements. One, how he became employed was we helped him get connected with a, a program at a school, and he began working, mentoring other students in high school. I was to just going to ask you, do you have some of the kids that go through the programs and the services that you provide that come back and now help you? Absolutely, yes. 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 Absolutely. yes. We would have some alumni who attend, who were at Fred Finch years ago who still remain in contact with us as donors, and, and they want to hear about what's happening today with Fred Finch. So it's very exciting that they we want, want to remain engaged. I was going to say, and that's that's why you guys are there. When you yes. see these success stories, it's got to do your heart a world of good. Yes, oh. it's really quite amazing. How did you both get involved? Did you? Uh... Well, I've been working at Fred Finch for 17 years, okay. um, and uh, my I'm, my background I'm a clinical social worker, and so began working with the young people directly. Mm -hmm. um, very, very much involved and engaged and and 
driving us to be a place where kids come to get back with their families. Yeah. Um, because lifelong connections are what matters most. And you're based in Oakland. There's yes. also a, another one down at San Diego. Yes. So statewide, are you going to expand some more, or is that just where, where it is right now? Um, we will go where, where we're needed. Mm -hmm. um, we really change our services and evolve our services based on where we see gaps, where we see kids who are underserved or not served. Our residential program at this point is for kids who are dually diagnosed. They have both cognitive delays and emotional disturbance, and they don't do well in programs that serve one or the other of those. And we have a unique program um, to serve kids that really puts together the best of what's known about helping kids from both sides. Well, we wish you all the best. Thanks for coming in. Thank pleasure you to, so pleasure much. Pleasure to meet you. Frank, thank Leah, you. Thank thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Frank. And if you'd like more information about the FFYC Foundation, please go to fredfinch.org. Nice and easy. That's it for this week of Base Sunday. We'll be back with more next week. Have a great week, everybody.